Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of decimals. Specifically, how we can compare and order decimals using pictorial models, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So you see two different decimals represented on the screen in front of you. The one over here on the left is actually broken up into tenths. As you can see, I've got uh, this first square is completely filled in into 10 strips of green, and then the second one is not completely filled in. Over here on the right, you'll notice that we have much more. In this case, we have hundredths. And in both instances, you notice that I took a normal word 10 and then put a th at the end. And over here, I took the normal word 100 and put a th. When you see that 10th, 100th, and 5th grade, you'll learn thousandth and 10,000th, all that means is that you are um, adding those, 100 of those little pieces, or 10 of these little pieces, depending on which one you're looking at, to make one whole. Let's make sure we understand that. So look at this first green square over on the far left. This is one whole square. What I did is I broke it up into 10 pieces, and I shaded in all 10 of them, because 10 tenths makes a whole. Did the same thing over here with this first square on the right. This is one whole square completely filled in. But what I did was I broke it up into 100 pieces and I filled in all 100 pieces. So that's why this square on the right is called hundredths and this square on the left is called tenths. So both of those represent one whole. So what we need to do now is we're going to put a decimal spot here because the second square in each of these does not have a the entire thing filled in. So that's where the decimal comes in. So this one right here, I've got one, two, three. So I've got three tenths. So I can write one and three tenths. I can write it a little bit closer together, one and three tenths like that. Or I can write it as a mixed number, one and then three tenths. They both mean the same thing. Put the decimal here, and let's see, I've got two full rows, and then I've got eight. So I've got two tenths and eight hundredths, or one and twenty-eight hundredths. So I can either write it like that, or I can write it as a mixed number, one and twenty-eight hundredths. Now, in order to compare these with greater than, less than, or equal to, what we need to realize is that one whole row right here is equal to one row of my tenth. Because ten hundredths, and I'll write that right here, ten hundredths equals one tenth. Those two are the same. So you see I've got one, two, three full rows filled in. I've got one, two, but I don't have that third row completely filled in. I only have eight out of ten, which means we are going to be able to say greater than one and three tenths is greater than 1 and 28 hundredths. Now, if I were to write that a little bit closer, just kind of look at it like this and say 1 and 3 tenths is greater than 1 and 28 hundredths, you might be thinking, whoa, 28 is a lot larger than 3. How can 3 be larger than 28? Well, remember, place value. This 3 is actually in the tenths place, but this number over here goes to the hundredths place. So if we wanted to make it fair, this is what we can do. You could also write 1 and 3 tenths as 1 and 30 hundredths. Those are the same things. And if you do that, now you'll see why 1 and 30 hundredths or 1 and 3 tenths is larger than 1 and 28 hundredths. So we have a new situation here. We have four boys with four different amounts. And as you can see, they're each less than a whole. Steve and Jim have amounts to the hundredths place, where Carl and Tony have amounts to the tenths place. We need to put them in order from greatest to least. Well, we're going to do what we did just a moment ago. We're going to take these tenths. Carl, he's got four tenths, but that's the same as 40 hundredths. Tony, we do the same thing. We're going to add a zero. So that five tenths turns into 50 hundredths. Now they all go to the hundredths place. And now it's going to be easy to put them in order. So Tony has got our greatest at 50 hundredths. Next is Jim with 44 hundredths. Third is Carl with 40 hundredths. And then Steve is going to come last with 36 hundredths. 